Hey friends and welcome back to another YouTube hair review slash tutorial here on my channel putting up with the pompons I am Shante and welcome back to another video if you are new to our channel do not forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button come join the family we would love to have you and to all of my returning subscribers hey bestie hey mama hey friend hope you are being safe and blessed as always so let's go ahead and jump straight into this so i have another converti wig y'all after the first curly one i was like you know what let's give this kinky straight blowout textured one a try okay so i'm unboxing her for the first time and she is looking good okay let's talk about the inches that home homegirl is got going on okay so this one this time comes with a ponytail so here we have the ponytail here it comes with a comb in the middle and then two combs on the side for you to secure it and then there was this little curly piece for you to wrap that around the base of the ponytail here's the half wig per usual our combs and then we have the drawstring to help tighten it and customize it to your liking all right so i'm starting off with my hair looking raggedy and rough okay if you talk about my hair you anti-black but it's okay because we got to slay this look real quick so i threw in these yeah ain't jemima damn twists and braids in my head let's not let's not get into it so we're gonna take out the first half because we are doing the half up half down style first i want to use both of the units for my initial like you know do i like it do i like it not review all right so i added some water to the base of my hair added some gel y'all know i love my edge effect shine conditioning gel love that stuff smells so freaking good works wonders smoothing it out with a bore bristle brush and then we are going to tie it down using a hair tie now i am gripping the hell out of this ponytail um i had to go back and loosen it up because home girl my edges was screaming and i already got thin ones so you think i would know better but mm -mm. so then i wrap it up into a small little bun as tight as i can and now we are going to work with the back so i still got the twists in the back i just tied those down and put a hair net over it and called it a day adding in that half wig piece super easy to install just secure your combs and then pull the drawstring in the back to your liking again it's customizable so it can fit anybody's head now of course check the back because we want to make sure sis ain't acting up back there and she was given i was like okay okay she ain't bad i love the texture the color is matching my natural hair perfectly now let's get into the ponytail so like i said we have this big comb right in the front i'm gonna go ahead and install that one first and then install the ones on the side now you see a little curly piece hanging off to the side that's what we're going to use to wrap around the base of the ponytail because of course we do not want to see all the tracks of the hair okay so cover that up and then you could probably use some got to be spray or some spritz or some kind of holding spray i decided to just go with a bobby pin because i plan on doing other looks and i didn't want the got to be spray and the spritz to like you know make the hair tough to work with so i secured mine with a bobby pin and i didn't have any issues it did not come out or anything like that and then that is pretty much it i'm just fixing it to my liking you know filling the hair it was super soft i really love this wig okay and she was giving me life i was like oh my gosh go ahead genie ponytail you are given and of course here i am trying to give y'all some angles trying to give y'all a couple of quick looks you know just doing my awkward like mm, she fine she's sexy look at her mm, mm, pose mm, angles mm, mm. all right so this is the finished look for my first try on for this out trick and ready wig plus pony so of course y'all know i love the versatility of this wig already and i've only done one style like i'm just thinking of the possibilities but i am going to show you a four other ways to wear this unit because i can't leave y'all without showing y'all other ways to slay this wig so um this I definitely love I definitely love this one so very inexpensive a synthetic wig I love the texture like blowed out texture definitely looks very natural the length I do see giving me a little bit of problems later down the line um, I probably do see myself cutting it just to make it a little bit more manageable but for the sake of the video I'm gonna keep it at its length I really love how easy it was and of course if you are interested the link is down below in my description box where you can shop all of my wig looks hair products and all that good stuff that I feature here on my channel Let's go ahead and finish this up so this is day one of me wearing it i think i'm gonna come back day two with a new look and um yeah so forth and so on <laughs> 
All right, I'm back again. So this is day number two. I decided to do a look using only the half piece. So I took out my ponytail and I'm doing a middle part because I want to do some cornrows in the front and to make sure that they are straight and not slanted because I have a hard time with making straight lines as a part. I start in the middle and then work my way to the edges. So I'm going in with my gel because of course we need a clean part to do these uh, cornrows. Okay, we don't, we don't want no janky looking parts going on in the front of our head. So I'm going in with that and then i'm just gonna begin corn rolling this is not a corn roll tutorial i'm sorry babe so if you don't know how to corn roll you gonna have to find somewhere else to learn because i'm not about to teach you i'm sorry i don't know how to teach how to corn roll i self-taught myself by practicing on baby dolls back when i was in the fifth grade baby okay so if if you ain't got it i'm sorry but it's okay. I'm going to still show you how good it looks. <laughs> of course, I'm going to still do that for you. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward past all this because my arms were killing me. All right. Shoulder day was yesterday and my shoulder still kind of sore. I was upset. So I was trying to hurry up and get this over with. I realized how much braiding my own hair is just a sacrifice. Okay tired after just one that was just one but i'm doing 10 across the entire front of my head just so y'all know so we're gonna go ahead and skip this now once the braids are installed like i said i just did them straight back i was already struggling enough trying to do them straight back oh, i'm about to do no design so let's go ahead and pin this all back so i was debating whether or not to pin it all back and just have like the braids in the front and then the hair down in the back you know because that look has been you know seen before and then i was going to do like a headband going across you know where the tracks in my hair meet so you don't see that you know where the wig starts you know trying to make it look natural I, I didn't like it. Yeah, I'm gonna just be honest with you. I didn't like it. So I took it out and I was like, you know what? Instead of pulling all of the braids back, let's bring the braids out and just add some beads to it. But my natural hair is a little short. It's a little on the short side. It's okay because by next year, it's gonna be the length of this wig. Okay, let, go ahead and claim it, honey. So I decided to add some braiding hair to make it look like feed-in braids but i'm gonna show y'all the cheap way of doing it because i was not about to take these braids out was not So it's pretty simple. All I'm doing is taking my crochet needle and crocheting the braiding hair at the base at the back back part of the cornrow right before it leaves my scalp to, you know, have its own braid, okay? I, look i'm not good at explaining it just work with me here like pay attention and just work with me and then i unraveled my hair just a little bit so it can kind of blend in with the braiding hair just braided it down honey boom just like that i added some beads the beads are from crown couture and these are actually my daughter's beads but they look cute on me so you know and i don't usually wear beads often in my hair so i was kind of i was like mm, i'm cute i'm cute So I'm gonna do this throughout the rest of the braids. I'm gonna add in, crochet that braid in here, braid it down and then add my beads and we will be done with this look. Took me probably about 30 minutes to do. The corn rolling part was the longest, but I think we slayed this look y'all. I think we did it. I think there, this is another one. All right, y'all, so look number three. So I was a little lazy on this day. I had just got done coming from the gym. So I decided to take out the beads from the previous style, but I kept the braids. So I, I'm going in with my half wig. I'm bringing it all the way forward. So all you see is this like peekaboo of my edges. I laid my edges earlier with, of course, my Shannon Fix conditioning gel. At this point, like they need to pay me because the, the sponsorships I'll be giving them is ridiculous. Anyways, so I'm uh, pulling my drawstring, customizing it. This was probably the easiest look out of all of them. Took me literally five minutes to style. I added a cute little silk headband, head wrap, whatever to my edges. And I like this one because, you know, it just looks like, I guess it's like a sophisticated look, but still super, super easy. I styled it, brushed it real quick and detangled it. I I've been finger detangling this wig. I use a brush every now and then, but for the most part, just using my fingers and I'm good to go. So that is it for this look right here. Boom, done, look number three. So now we're gonna move on to look number four, our very last look. And this one, I'm just gonna use the ponytail because I really wanted to see how this ponytail was gonna hold up. 
so I still have my braids in yep I was not ready to take them out after I spent 30 to 45 minutes putting them in homegirl I was gonna go ahead and just make it work so I still have those twists going on in the back and since we're doing a ponytail I had to take them out yeah it was time to take them out so as i take out one i brush it out detangle it and then we're gonna go in with some water to kind of soften the hair help me to be able to pull it up into a ponytail i'm going in with my eco styler gel the castor oil flaxseed one is gold it's cute it smells good you know i love hair products that smell good so i'm rubbing that in i'm gonna go in with some edge gel as well to smooth down those stubborn uh, you know the little beady beads in the back of the head and then i'm pulling it up as high as i can i want it to be like a high pony so i'm gonna go ahead and use another hair tie to secure the braids and it was still a little bulky so i decided to go in with a wig cap to kind of help with that so i'm just tying the wig cap over the pretty much the bun and just like kind of securing it and i just kind of wrapped it around the base to you know make sure it doesn't go anywhere and it it did what it needed to do now let's go ahead and get our ponytail ready so i'm going in with the first clip in the front to secure it at the base of my bun and then i'm gonna go in with the sides and secure those next now let's get into this little funky little spiral swirl over here to the side we're gonna go ahead and wrap her around the base of the ponytail super super easy i then go again with my bobby pin to secure it once i'm done wrapping it around the base and that was it I brushed her out, checked the back to make sure my bun won't show him because I was kind of scared that this ponytail wasn't going to hide my big ass bun in the back. But she did good. I was like, okay, all right. And here she is as the final look. Yas, give it. Oh, girl, you fierce. All right, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up with my final opinion of this wig. So I have worn this wig for the entire week. Um, I did four different styles throughout the week and this went to the gym with me, went to work, like everything in between. This, it, it was been worn. So um, I'm kind of glad I did that because it kind of gives me like my final, final opinion because you know, first time out of the box, like the hair can be really, really nice, but long term can always be an issue with synthetic wigs. I would say it held up very well. So I have the ponytail in right now um the half piece is probably the piece i wore the most low out texture definitely helps with the longevity i will say that like if this was like a straight straight piece or maybe even a curly piece we probably would have seen a lot of frizzing going on with the curly piece and probably a lot of tingling going on with a really straight piece so with this like kinky texture like blowout look i feel like it held up better now, i did the front with bra braids but i feel like you can like put bantu knots twists you know, do little crisscrosses, like any of that would work with this kind of unit. I have not convinced you to get this yet. Like, I just need to stop doing tutorials at this point because I'm, I'm giving y'all looks here. But anyways, we'll see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.